yet another video on Stalker Gamma. Today's one is a bit more complicated and in-depth, if I can say that. Uh, today I will try to explain, at least as short as possible and as simple as possible, how to repair guns. And of course, there's a lot of different guns in Stalker Gamma. There's assault rifles, there's shotguns, there's the big caliber weapons, there's pistols, and all of them use different repair kits for the for replacing their parts. But today I will only focus on the assault rifle since there uh, it will be easiest for me to explain uh, by giving an example with the assault rifle. So I have a very very worn out AKS-74 here. As you can see, if we click on if we right click. Uh, click on details and go down to its parts we can see that a lot of its parts are in pretty bad condition 29% 22 this one is 53 it's a bit better but it's still quite low or a, if you want if you want a functioning assault rifle at least 42 44 those are all pretty low conditions if we scroll down a bit more you can see the compatible repair kits now those are the compatible repair kits for the weapon itself the universal cleaning kit, which works only, uh, which is not usable below condition levels of 40. So if you use your gun a lot, let's say you got into a really bad battle and you used it a lot, the only thing that will save you is this or this. But these are very very hard uh, to acquire, as you will need to mostly buy them from technicians and technicians will sell them for a pretty steep price of 31,000. Keep in mind that this is on survivalist difficulty, so progression difficulty may vary, but they're still very, very um, hard to acquire. I will buy one. Oh, never mind, I don't have enough money. So the individual gun repair kits are these. Parts, though, the parts that the weapon has which are the barrel, the bolt head, the, uh, the the locking head, I mean, the bolt carrier, the gas tube, and the trigger. All of them have individual different um, repair kits that you will need to use. And I picked some parts here to show you which are compatible with the AK. If we equip the AK and over over it with our mouse you can see that it highlights all of the parts down here so these are all the pa the parts that are compatible with the AK now if you right click on a part click on details doesn't matter what part really what the condition of the part is i mean right click click on details you will see that it has uh two different compatible repair kits that's the trigger mechanism it has a part repair kit and it has a multi tool repair kit the multi tool it's not usable below condition levels of 60, as you can see. The part repair kit, though, is not usable below condition levels of 10. This is your best bet for repairing parts that are in very, very critical condition. So my suggestion is try to disassemble as many guns as possible so that if you do happen to stumble upon a nice weapon uh, in the future and you want to repair it you will have a, a plethora of options to choose from from your parts you can choose a a good condition part that's over 60 percent and simply repair it with the multi-tool or if it's in critical condition and you only have bad parts try to choose one that is above 10 percent and or 10 percent and the part repair kit will repair it let's see what will happen uh, if we try to repair the trigger mechanism uh, also if you hover over any of the parts you will see that the repair kits do highlight so that that can be a little bit easier for you to sort of learn what repair kit is for which weapon so let's click on this because uh, this trigger is 30 percent it does highlight the multi tool but the multi tool is not, not usable below condition level of 60, so you'll, it will not repair it. Let's click on this. Double click. Never mind, that is the PDA. I did not want to click on the PDA. Thank you very much. Use, and here you can see a bunch of different parts. We will click on the trigger. Once we click on the trigger, 
as you can see here you have different supportive materials I will talk about those in a minute um, but it will repair it plus 99 so you don't really have to use any supportive materials when you're using the part repair kit that is because no matter the percentage as long as it's over 10 it will repair it to 100 percent now supportive materials that's a that's another good thing i want to mention the different repair kits will have different supportive materials for example the multi-tool has these supportive materials the industrial grease the brunox gun care spray lubricant the kerosene and the jerry can um, this one, as you saw, has the same ones, although the spray is replaced with the cleaning solvent. Uh, the file, as far as I know, yes, it has three only, it doesn't have the jerry can. The supportive materials are basically used to boost the repair percentage, that's all they do. You can use a, <laughs> you can use a repair kit with a repair kit to boost the percentage basically that can work but my recommendation is try to use industrial grease or kerosene because it's actually not that hard to find believe it or not um, using repair kits such as the spray lubricant or these ones if you have enough of them you can spare to use one no problem but if they are very very spare and you don't want to waste any repair kits uh, use the um, the industrial grease it will give a repair bonus of 8 now there is an achievement in the game called um, mechanized warfare which will basically give you more percentage when you repair stuff I will not be going over over that achievement but I explained it briefly so there you go it simply boosts the repair uh, percentage a little bit now Let's repair the trigger mechanism, as we said. We click on the trigger mechanism and it will repair it. We click repair, bam, it's repaired. We go into our inventory. Uh, since we have two trigger mechanisms, there's the there's both of them. This is the repaired one, it's 100%. Very nice. The bolt. You can... You can, if you find good parts on weapons that are in good condition basically over 60 percent you can use the uh, the appropriate repair kit such as the file or the ramrod as I said every single individual part has its own repair kit which is only individual to that particular part but if you do happen to find a good part on a weapon keep it if it's over 60 percent keep it because as I said these ones cost a lot of money to uh, to buy so it can be a really really big hassle to get enough money to buy a simple part repair kit and the use is deplete pretty quickly because with each repair you get only uh, you deplete one use so that can be a thing so as I said make sure to disassemble as many guns as possible and as many different calibers as possible so you have a really really big selection of uh, parts that you can work with you when you're repairing a gun that you really like so let's repair the uh, locking head as you can see here I have two good locking heads let's say I uh, recover those over from a from a gun and I repaired them of course you will very very rarely see a gun that has 90% uh, part but just imagine that the part was over 60% and you disassembled the gun, you repaired it, and you get a part. Let's repair this part. Click on details, look at the repair kits, 60%. This is not 60%, so we can use the part repair kit. Let's use the part repair kit. Uh, there's the locking head. Boom. You don't have to use any of these. As I said, it repairs it to 100%. Let's do the same with the other ones, as I've already explained. No need to... This one. This one is 60%. So on this one, since it's 60%, I can use a file. This is the file, click on the file, and there it is, 60%. I can repair it, it gives 25. Here, however, it can be beneficial to use the spray lubricant since it has four uses, and that's quite a lot for a repair kit. 
So we can click on that and it will repair it to 100%. Let's do that. Bam, we repaired it to 100%. So far so good. Very simple, very nice. So we have a couple of repaired parts that we repaired. Let's repair this. This is 40. Unfortunately, we won't be able to repair it, uh, repair it with a file or with a RAM rod. Let's use a part repair kit. There it is. Repair. Boom. Very nice. Now, barrels are a bit complicated uh, in the sense that you can s strip guns in this game. You can also maintain the parts. As you can see, you can replace them. However, replacing parts, maintaining them basically, will use or deplete uses on the repair kits that you have, if they can replace parts, basically. Disassembling, uh, not disassembling, my bad. Uh, field stripping guns is something you can do on the fly, and you click Alt, Field Strip, and you can remove specific parts, or you can remove all. Let's click, uh, let's click Remove All. You get a gas tube, bolt carrier, rota rotating, locking head, double fire mode, trigger mechanism. Excuse my English, by the way. Now, we got those parts, but we don't necessarily need to use them. You can repair them, of course, but keep in mind that you will not get the barrel of the gun. You will receive every other part apart from the barrel. The barrel you can only replace. You can either click on maintain parts and replace barrel, as far as I know, Replace barrel. Yes, you can replace the barrel on the fly if the gun is in really bad condition. Or you can use the workshop. Now, what does the workshop do? Well, if you go to a technician and you pay him, uh, you click can I use your vice, and you pay him a thousand rubles, you will have five minutes to use his vice. Now, vices are a lot more beneficial to use than repairing guns on the fly because you can drag and drop basically parts into a gun since we since we field stripped this AK74 we can drag a part into it but it has a chance to lower the overall condition of the gun because guns in gamma have separate condition values the the condition of the parts is separate to the condition of the gun make sure to remember that there's a lot of people who ask questions such as I repaired the gun, why it still jams, it doesn't work, it doesn't shoot, it's broken, please fix your game, blah 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 blah. That's because the condition of the gun is separate to the condition of the parts. Treat it as a cleanliness value, so to speak. You can do this, you can drag and drop a part, but as I said, it can lower the overall condition of the gun. And we don't want to lower the condition of the gun, it's already at 13%. It's already atrocious, so we don't want to do that. What we have, can do is get a part replacement kit. The corresponding part replacement kit for the AKS-74U is this, ba is this uh, toolbox. It's the Army Rifle Repair Kit. It says, usable on Mechanics Workshop for part repla replacement and upgrades. It's self-explanatory. We can click F to use the workshop. We can click on this little wrench go over to our AK, and since we repaired the parts, or scavenged good parts but over 60%, and we repaired them, as I previously explained, with the corresponding repair kit, uh, we can click on the different parts, let's say we want to replace the trigger mechanism, we click on the trigger mechanism, and here we see the selection of different triggers, of course, I have two triggers that are 100%, doesn't really matter which one I pick. You can click it, and it will replace the part. Note that it will not deplete the uses of the army repair kit. It will only deplete the uses if you use it on the fly, basically without a vice. That's the only time that it will deplete the uses. Now, we repair the other parts, so let's click on this one doesn't matter which one we click, just click on the one that is the highest value. Of course, after you replace the parts of a gun, as long as you have this, you can take them out, clean them again, or repair them, doesn't really matter which word you would like to use, and then use this again 
in a vise and put them back together basically. Here's the uh, locking head, click on the part, replacement parts, click on the part, there we go, it's replaced. Click on the gas tube, there's the gas tube. Oh, the gas tube is not fully repaired, my bad. Uh, where's the gas tube? There's the gas tube. The, there you go, it's the same, we can use, we can use a file, doesn't really matter. It repairs it to 100%, 88 plus 25, way over 100, the limit is 100, obviously. Let's go back to the AK. Replace this, replace that, replace this, and replace the gas tube. And, as I said, the barrel you cannot take out of a gun. The barrel you can only replace. Of course, you can replace it on the fly, but again, as I previously said, it will deplete the uses of the repair kit that can replace the barrel. Either this, or there's another repair kit I will show you in a bit. There you go. There's here are our different barrels. I don't. I can't be. Uh, you can replace. Uh, you can repair the barrel with a ramrod. Let's picture that I repaired the barrel. Doesn't matter that it's 85%. You get the idea. Bam. We click on repair. Very nice. Now our AK is dirty, right? Our AK is very very dirty. How do we clean it? Well, you can use. Uh, the universal weapon cleaning kit, or this one, or all of these. Or, if it's in really, really bad condition, if it's below 40, and this AK is, the only weapon, uh, or uh, repair kit, my bad, the only repair kit that will be able to repair guns under 30% is this. It's the Army Rifle Repair Kit. Again, Different guns have different repair kits, but they all work the same. It's just that the calibers of the guns are different, and they use different ammo. That, that's another topic. It will not be usable below condition level one. Our AK is uh, our AK is 13, so we can use the Army Rifle Repair Kit. Now, keep in mind that this one has only one use, and if we click on it and we click on the AK, here's how all the different supportive materials that we can use. Of course, this has a bunch of different supportive materials that you can use. So, you know, you have quite the options there, definitely. Now, do we have something that will get it over 40%? Of course we do. It gets 25 and doesn't really matter which one of these I pick, I guess apart from the bottle, we will get above 45% or about 40%, my bad. We can use the industrial grease, which will give the least. We can use the vodka, we can use the water, we can use this, all of the other, or we can use the cleaning kit. And the cleaning kit gives the most, it gives 15%, and that's a pretty big bonus. So let's click on the cleaning kit, since that's the best one we have. You might have different ones, depending again on which ones you decided to buy. But I'm gonna click on the universal uh, cleaning kit. Bam! It goes to 50, 53. Now, our uh, army rifle repair kit will vanish. It only has one use. But, since it goes above 40%, now, it, uh, it means that we can use the universal weapon cleaning kit. So, let's click on the universal weapon cleaning kit. This one has two uses. Let's, let's use that one. There you go. There's our AK. It appears. And there's all the different supportive materials. Again, each repair kit has different supportive materials, I already said that. Let's click on the Dvojka oil so cleaning solvent. Ah, we get 82, not bad. There's 8 uses. The, the This little number here means how many uses this particular repair kit has. So let's click on that. Bam, it repairs it to 82. And then we can click it again, because there's one use. Might as well do it, and bam! Now, as you can see, we have a fully functioning and repaired AKS-74U. There it is. Here's the parts. 100, 100, 100, 186. Picture that this is 100. It doesn't matter. You can also clean the barrel. As Again, you can maintain the parts. You can clean the barrel. 
and the, uh, when you clean the barrel, there you go, it cleans the barrel, it uses this. When you clean the barrel, it uses this, the army rifle cleaning kit. So yeah, that's a, that's a thing you can do. If your barrel is damaged and you happen to have the corresponding cleaning kit, you can clean it on the fly. You don't need to like replace barrels and stuff like that. Uh, it's it's nice, right? It's, it's nice. It's a uh, it's pretty convenient that you can do that. And now we have our AK. Here's our different magazines, and we can use it. We can load up the magazines. I do have Mags Redux. That doesn't really matter. Uh, you can load your AK with ammo, and you can use it. And that is as simple as possible, I guess. I guess how to repair a weapon in Stalker. Gamma. Of course, Anomaly and EFP treat repairs differently. This is for Gamma only. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it.